Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called nifedipine, and nifedipine's brand name is Procardia. It falls under the class of calcium channel blockers and its mechanism of action, or how it works in the body. It inhibits the calcium ion influx during the depolarization of the cardiac and vascular smooth muscle. This causes widespread vasodilation, which reduces the preload and the afterload and the overall myocardial oxygen demand. Your indications are going to be a hypertensive crisis or angina pectoral. As always, before we get into dosages, please abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. So most of you guys are going to know this, but we do not carry nifedipine on the ambulance. This is something you may see in flight medicine or even on a long distance transport. So your dose is going to be 10 milligrams, and this is a sublingual or buccal capsule, and you may repeat this in 30 minutes. And this is not recommended for the pediatric population. Your contraindications are going to be hypotension, cardio shock and compensatory hypertension. Adverse reactions for nifedipine can include hypotension, nausea and vomiting, dizziness, weakness, bradycardia, drowsiness, confusion, coughing, wheezing, and dysrhythmias. Your drug interactions. Beta blockers and antihypertensives can potentiate the effects. How it's applied. It is typically supplied in a 10 or 20 milligram capsule. A few side notes about nifedipine. You want to use with caution in patients of the elderly population or in patients with renal or hepatic dysfunction. Remember to get a thorough medical history, including the medications prior to administration. And this is just because they can definitely interact with medications like antihypertensives and beta blockers. Plus, it's our job to get a good medical history. Be aware of possible reflex tachycardia. And as always, guys, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely information for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next Monday. Bye!